Yeah, this shit got to get addressed, my nigga. Did you rap, my nigga? No. I like. I did my homework on you, nigga. You a street nigga. You put your work in. If a nigga say he been locked up, or a nigga say he shot a nigga, man, that's all negativity. I, I, I'm Respect. redirecting the traffic. Fuck you. Respect. Whoa. What, what, what do you mean? No. <laughs> 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 Yo, incidentally, incidentally, we took my baby on the whole. So all my niggas was fucking with young shorties yeah. at the time, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, black yeah. and all these niggas. Oh, gracious. Yeah. Incidentally, um, speaking about Belleville and being there with 50 and the whole, you know, basically like in, uh, being golf in the track master camp. Mm -hmm. Um, Recently, uh, not well, you know, not that long ago, there was an interview with Stout and... Uh, the uh, Drink Tom, Champs shit? Yeah, on the Drink Champs. And, um, you know, Stout basically gave his uh his perspective on why certain artists didn't blow outside at least commercially and mainstream wise outside of the, the super group thing like AZ he made a comment about AZ and um it was kind of, it was it was it was very politically correct but at the same time if you look at the undertone of I don't it, think it was politically correct it kind of was he was basically saying AZ was dope, but when it came down to um, doing records outside of teaming up with Nas, he didn't have the same, uh, he basically didn't have the same didn't show up, shine. And um, I believe I believe he said something about you too. I'm pretty sure you heard about it. Like, Stout making a comment in terms of you when asked about you. Yeah, like, um, I forgot. I didn't see it. You heard about it, though. Yeah, I heard. Um, I'm, but man, I be lazy. I ain't gonna front. That's yeah. my own shit. Nigga. That's like, the yo, most Nate, fucking Nate, Nate, honest. Be like, Nate, man, when he <laughs> wanted to show up, he show up. When he don't yo, show up, that's life, man. Yo, Nobody's you know gonna be a hundred percent on all the time. Sometimes this shit, I, I, I came into it being fun, and then it turned into business. I love the business. We love making money. But if I don't have, see the difference is, it's not like you just so dope that you just fucking sell records and you're through the fucking roof. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have the fucking power powerhouse behind you. You gotta have that shit. But you, but, but. you gotta have the powerhouse behind you, and the powerhouse behind you has to be not of the same entity of of as me. But like you have to be able to push. Everybody didn't have Nate. the Steve Stouts. In mm. all Steve honesty, Stouts. wait. But in all honesty, Nate, when you say that, I gotta keep agreeing. You, like you're right. You're 100 percent right in what you're saying. But then people will say, well, you had Steve Stout. You was in the same room with Steve Stout. You was in the same room. You wait. You was lined up with Trackmasters at that particular time. The Trackmasters were the fucking primary producers yeah. of all the hits. How you don't got the machine behind you? Was it you being lazy, or was you not matching your artistry up to your business because maybe you didn't have that experience to know how to match it up at the time? No, it's always been like that, my nigga. It sounds like you're been, sour. It's always been like that because. It's like, for me, there's always an analogy some kind of way of fuck. Yeah. It's like the Juice Crew, my nigga. Mm. Molly Maul is the nigga, right? But they was always happy. Kane was the one, was the golden child of, of it all, right? Mm -hmm. But as a matter of what, there was a Kane, there was always a cool G rap. Mm-hmm. And why, 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 why couldn't he get pushed to that upper echelon type of shit? Like, so no matter what, I think that's slightly different. So, so no, 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 because right. yeah, of course, we're no. both. People feel that you're both lyrically dope. People feel like maybe as far as marketing, Nas would have been the better move to embrace and do it like that, right? So I'm just an extension of Nas's arm. So if Nas want to fuck with it, of course the doors open up, the, the coffee gets rolled out. But if some, if Nas don't want to fuck with it, for whatever yeah, reason, whether that. it be business or personal, it doesn't matter. I, I'm still riding with you. You're right. You're right. And I, I just get it. become just the help. No matter how 
talented you are because at the end of the day, Stout makes deals. He doesn't make the beats. So his deal, his thing is to take it to a different different avenues to, to create revenue for it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Which is dope, too. Which is dope. But I'm locked into it from just a musical standpoint. So I'm expendable. At least you thought you was. Well, well in his eyes. I never least, felt that way. I but, think- but, but as far as investing all of his shit, it would have been wiser for him to, to, to fuck with it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but, but wait, that only makes sense because you came from by way of him anyway. So his first obligation would be there. I think the lineup was to be like, for you to kind of, for you to kind of peep that mm-hmm. and work your way in there. But you know what? What's done is done. My thing was like, how did, how did you feel about Stout's response to you on the show? Honestly, you say that shit. Oh yeah, I but I, but no, you did say that. But I actually did. You I want to go back to that it? era, right? Okay. I just be, I good, just don't like good. I just don't like fake shit. You know nah, what I'm saying? all good though. All good though. I don't think I, like I said. I I I don't. What do you mean by that? Just it's just a lot of fake shit. A lot of shit that's it's different the way people might respond or act during an interview and as opposed off to off you know, camera. Yeah. yeah, off camera and shit like that. And but and especially when we're talking about. Years back then, yeah. people's memories may be a little bit foggy. Yeah, a little bit foggy. Or, or shit Would you like say that. from that whole period you started? You talk about um, ser- uh, sample clearance issues, right? Yeah. And uh, niggas leaking your shit, yeah. right? Yeah. And then probably maybe I'm now I'm, I'm reading between lines like uh, relationship woes or whatever, like yeah. with the people you came in or whatever. You think you got like sour with the game, and then like that took away from your hunger? And desire to produce, because oh, I was no. always like, "What you like? You was right. Like your shit's out there. You're always on everything mixtape wise, and your album drop, and that shit was dope. I was fucking knocking that fucking what was that Cold Red on fucking repeat. I'm in the streets with that record, hard. And then it was like, where's nature? I mean, it was just always never. It always seemed like it was never. A lot of enough bullets to just spray everything down. It was just good enough to like make a couple of records or make a song that that could grab your attention or, or 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 you know try to get a little buzz and then all of a sudden like somewhere down the line internally the lines will get crossed and so it's like you don't have enough of this music. You know what I'm saying? That always that was always the case. It never was like. You know what I mean? We put together the right team of people that's going to help me do it beyond the actual, you know what I mean? Yeah, I beyond the like actual what? Like, like, beyond actual just the making of the record. You know what I'm saying? Stay yeah, for you. Wow, okay. it's crazy. It's, oh, and it's just different. Because it's like, once you have them, you're able to pull them strings and you're able to get superstars and you're able to connect and, you know what I mean? Hit, hit records and shit. Like get made and shit. I should don't like be no accident. It don't just be like me versus the beat. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like some real shit going on. Nah, like, you know you. what I mean? To put this together. Like you know what I mean? Queensbridge now. Where you see Queensbridge now? Queensbridge, Queensbridge. Queensbridge is always gonna be on the move. There's a lot of dope niggas out there, man. Who you see right now out of Queensbridge? That's that's dope? Yeah. My nigga GQ, my nigga King Shooter, all these Ooh, niggas. A lot of these niggas, man. They got different they got different vibes and they got you know what I mean, they 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 marketable, they kinda understand in this game, but we was them. You know what I'm saying? Good point. We was them. I, I haven't heard of GQ. Wasn't was you shot rest in peace to Prodigy, man. Oh. Rest in peace. Yeah. Were you signed to Prodigy at one point before he passed away? Nah, not like signed to him. Um, Cause I heard his, something like that, like you, you supposed to put out your album or something. Yeah, we were supposed to do. Uh, um, he, I wanted to do one album. He wanted to do two albums. Mm-hmm. So, um, the, I put out an album. Um, I put out an album, and um, it was just pretty much just to use the print. It wasn't like he was. Too much involved in, in okay, yeah. it was like just give it was an alley oop, yeah. Like, here, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah, because I heard something about that, so I wanted to ask you, yeah, nature now, where you at now with it, beloved? Oh, uh, I'm still right here in the shadows, man. It's 2019, so I, I definitely 
I seen the wave last year and I seen how many people was putting music out and I was definitely getting a little itch. But I didn't want to follow suit just because. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um But you couldn't let go. Nah, I just it's just for me it's just dedicating enough time to put them to string them up. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Have you been in the lab at all? Yeah, I've been in the lab. I mean, I still do features, I still do all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? But as far as um locking in and um having a destined like yo, this, this is coming out this day. And That's this not your focus like right now. Nah. You gonna get on this soundtrack? This drive-by know. music soundtrack. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> I love my bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever. We can do it. Yeah, right. that would be there's 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 um there's there's artists I'm, that I'm happy to, that to commit to getting on it. Yeah. There's a few that I'm like geeked to get on it. You're one of the niggas. I'm like, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do Let's do it. Talk that slick talk shit yeah, on there. Yeah, man. It was. Like, I didn't even. Forever. I didn't even know that because I was locked away for a little grip, right? Yeah. I didn't even know y'all niggas had music together. So yeah. I came home and like I went, I went fucking batshit crazy I you that. on on uh, on title looking up his shit and I saw like two records yeah, I was that y'all that. that that y'all did together. Well, the, one of them shits had littles on it too, right? Or just the one the I'm talking drugs. about. Y'all yeah, talking about like uh like um like um betrayal or some shit. In the nah, house. he's talking about the later joints. Mm -hmm. That we did more recently. Now nah, was it the one I, the the joint I was is just y'all two. I know that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, it was crazy because I'm like, I didn't even know y'all had a relationship like that. But once I once I saw like a few joints, yeah. it was to me obvious that y'all had a relationship like that. And I'm like, that's just dope because I always a, wanted y'all to just a tight bond that was not necessarily broke. Yo, you know what's crazy? You know what I want to ask you? What's up? How many times for how many years have we ever talked about a QB tour? Uh, that never materialized That everyone that always was Countless was, was, and, yeah. and that's why questions like these are important You know why? Because everybody wants to know Why did Rome fall In a sense And it hasn't fall In terms of the individual artists We still do our things respectfully mm -hmm. But people were looking for the empire Because they assumed that we were all Lined up as one Because we come from the same area because it's always going to be more lucrative to be the boss than to be the soldier. Nobody wants to put the work in like that. Of course, everybody wants to reap the benefits. Because right now, all it takes is a few likes and a few clicks. And it looks like I'm doing something. And You know what I mean? And, and perception is so much, so crazy right now that, that right now, if I don't have something that costs way more than what the fuck you got, I'm not. I'm, Ill, not, doing I'm it. not doing it. I mean, I'm not successful. That's what, nigga, yeah, and that's, that's what's crazy. Real plastic. Yeah, because yeah. because I, when you a true boss, you know how to, in a sense, follow lead and and follow good direction. So when you're not a true boss, your insecurities get in the way. So it's not like everybody, you know, being a boss like because you got to know when to follow direction, man. Mm -hmm. A true boss knows that. Mm -hmm. And there's no discrepancy. There's no conflict within itself. Cause that tour needs to get done, bro. He knows who he is. That tour needs to get done. I think one of the main people who can help pull the tour together, you know, that may not necessarily be his interest because he doesn't He doesn't need it. Who's that? Nas. Nas. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. The only... No. Nah. No. Nah, it mean, can't... We have to all be aligned for that shit to work. Let me tell you something, man. Talk now, as you get older... When you're getting into something and you're devoting your attention to it, most of the time it's, it's, gener it's the, the, the money, it's financial, it's for financial gain, right? So then would you do it and then feel all right if you feel like, damn, I only did this for the check? If knowing that, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever, I didn't survive this long or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think in my eyes, that would be, it would seem like that would make sense, but in my eyes, it would take somebody that's not even one of the the artists or one of the entities involved. It would take somebody that doesn't rap. It would take somebody that... To pull it together? Yes. I'm, no, but I, I think he's saying that it would, like, Nas would have to be a part of it, right? Not because, yeah, and the reason why I say this is, and you know what? If you look into what I'm saying, I actually think that Nas would, at some point, be down for it, right? Because I think so. You don't so. think so? I do. You know why? I think so. I can tell. I can tell 
I right? think he's better off. I think he's more comfortable with the standpoint of um, trying to get these young dudes the opportunity no. to get out there that 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 that's not yeah. tarnished yet. Like with us, at the end of the day, I don't think he's that close minded. Nah, but it's and but, I think he has too much passion to even like, even if it doesn't. It has to make. It would have to make sense. It makes sense. It may. You talking about financially? It would have to make sense. It would make sense for hip hop. That's what I mean. Legacy. Duh. It would make sense for hip hop. Nature. Duh. Of course. But but sometimes in this new wave of you know, Nas definitely got the hot streak going on with the with the investments going on and a lot of shit going on. I don't know if the if the drive. The clashing of egos, money, it's a lot of shit where it's like, it, it was, to do it right, everybody's so much of a perfectionist and everybody's so much of a boss. I think dudes would fall in line and I think he would if be Puff could do it, outside it would have to of be, money. It would have to be, I think his passion supersedes how, money. Let me tell you how a, a, a QB tour would have How's to that? be. It would have to be set up with it. There's no more than two artists a night, right? For a certain amount of nights where it'd be like, this night you might get uh trash. That'd be whack though. No, 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 no. That have to be that way because why why though? Because first of all, we all been in the game twenty years, so how long, how many fucking songs you think we're gonna be standing up there trying to fucking do? Yeah. At least you know fucking twenty to twenty minute few, sets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't think I don't think the consumer, the world, right, will will want it. Like will if it's not, if they're not experiencing Queensbridge in, like inclusively, like that bad boy tour. Yeah, but Nas would have to embrace the whole type of shit and become that entity like Puff. It would have to be Queensbridge. I think he already it would is. Be Queensbridge slash. I think he already firm, is. Nature. Slash anything that he's been attached to, yeah. you have to bring moving like that. But it could what be easily doing? done though. Let's done. let's let's do this. Let's firm. Let's, well, let's, have it, but let's Mark, push the like, agenda. Let's push the agenda. Don't act like I'm the only one that's sitting over there going, "Yo, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> Nobody no, said that. No, nigga. Cut it out, nigga. You gotta look at I it. I think like, it could be done, bro. Like it can be. And done. I think I think it needs I'm to be everybody nature. for it to really work. <laughs> let's let's get let's 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 continue this build, man. Like hopefully this won't be the last time you want drive bys. Let's try to get this done at tour. Yeah, on, but at the same time, I'm before that, let's get this music <laughs> done. Let's get it. We went. We all with that. Yeah, let's get some right. music anything, out. anything you want to say to the people out there? Yo, right man, now? check me out on the motherfucking gram, yo. The real nature, yo. I need my followers up, man, because y'all, these little niggas don't understand what time it is, man. I need to go <laughs> and, and, and get up there with these big niggas. There's no way in the hell that, you know what I'm saying, that y'all should be so blind blind out there realizing what's real and what's fake. Right now, yeah. you're, in, you're in the presence of realness, man. My nigga, tell a friend and tell a friend. We you here, on Twitter, nigga. too? We, I'm on Twitter. It's the same shit. The, the real, real nature. T-H-E, the, not the. Uh, not do no dumb shit, yo. No. Wow, he just shot me. I'm no. cash your dirt kid on there. No, no, some no, dumb no. shit. I want to say this, man. I'm, I'm honored to have you riding shotgun, man. We honored to have you riding shotgun, man. Word is born, man. Word is born. Word is born. Word is born. Word For real. NYC, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. And a four part EP was dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah facts. Seasons change, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Them. Words, seasons change, all that shit, man, nigga. We still talking, it don't even map. Yo, I, appreci I really do appreciate this shit. This shit is big. As as big as you say the uh, the Spree World moment was for you, like, oh, shit, niggas, you know what I'm saying? That shit is dope for you. I, I think you need to view yourself as big as the hip-hop community views you and see that. Your input, your continued input in the game is needed, bro. No, I mean, sometimes it just takes, it it just takes for me to hear, because I, I forget, like, you know, I, 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 what you say, I'm recluse? Nigga, I don't give a flying fuck, you know what I'm saying? When you see I me, want, I'm in a... People want more me? nature, man. Exactly. People That's want dead more ass, bro. You gotta give a fuck. You gotta give a fuck. What, what type of shit you wanna, you know what I mean? They, they just said nature shit. They just want you. That's slick shit. What type of shit? They just want nature shit. Yeah, niggas be like, yo, my nigga. My nigga. Huh? Yes, nah, I just, so I just had to get that out. Like, yo, my nigga, well, you ain't wanna need it, bro. You gotta close the shit. If you, oh. if you don't have nothing to say, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate niggas that rap yeah. just to rap. But when I look at you, and when, like, speak especially when the camera wasn't even on. Yeah. You was still, you was, that slick shit was still coming out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, so yeah. I, I know you still got something to say. That's why I felt you may have got sour with the game. 
Amen. But to get like the business of it. I know artist wise, you still got something to say. I don't think if you didn't have something to say, I don't think you would be in the car right now. You know what I'm saying? Like artist wise, I don't think you would be riding shotgun if there still wasn't something inside to say. Uh nah, right, you're right, you're right. There's always gonna be something to say. And you got it's fans, bro. There's always gonna be Yeah, man, I apologize to niggas that's like, yo, what the fuck? I just need some dope ass shit. And I, I just need producers. to lock in, bro. Zay. I got some producers. I just, I just need to lock in. Like I said, man, I just went through some rough shit. You know what I mean? My, my mom's lost some family shit. So that shit had me out the loop. You lost your mom? But no excuse. Yeah, no it? excuse. Yeah. I lost my mom's. You should probably know that. Me and Travis lost some yeah. moms at 01, so. Yeah. Sorry for your loss, no bullshit, bro. Yeah. This was like recent, recent? Yeah, like going on a year now. Less than a year. Yeah. It, 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 with me, sometimes if it, it feels like it was still yesterday, it was 01. Yeah. And then even when it first happened, like within like a short amount of time, it felt like mad far. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a weird time yeah. thing, like yeah. where it's never old. And then I don't, that's that should have never. I I know what that is, but that what that's like. I advise if you don't if you don't mind me adding this on, mm -hmm. bro, put that. I, my greatest art came off of like me just spilling my shit out. Whether you give it to the world or not, release that shit on the track. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You may not even let nobody hear it. But, I, I, but if you do, if you do, I, even if you don't want me to let nobody hear it, I would want to hear it. I'm a, nah, gotta, I'm a super fan of you, my nigga. I, gotta, I think I'm the king of the unfinished records. <laughs> Right. I don't think there's a rapper around that to touch me. Pac. Right. <laughs> Pac had a lot of unfinished shit. Unfinished records, boy. Verse here, verse there, shit that that you didn't forgot about. Somebody played play it for me after they done touched it up. And you be like, oh shit, I forgot about that shit. That should be crazy. But you really interested in getting back in the studio and working? Yeah, if I could, yeah. I got some dope producers. I like and I know, and I know, and I know niggas will be gas to send something for you. Yeah, you know what? I need to, I need to, I need to get Yo, that Spliffed too. Out. He, he, he Spliffed Out, he's like one of Stevie J's, like, you know what I'm saying? I Main like, producer, yeah. and he's dope. He's dope. He, he can make any any he type of beat. You know exactly. Of course that I mean, nigga. Yeah. Yo, no, stop doing this, my nigga. I don't niggas, know, I don't know. I'm telling you, listen. Need nigga, I just need some niggas, dope niggas shit. Niggas, fuck with nigga. you, bro. I need some dope ass shit. I need Yo, some dope Spliffed shit. Out. Master plan. Yeah. Get jump in the inbox, send some shit that cause for this drive by music shit, but also just just flood this shit, flood this shit, cause I'm trying to get more nature. You know what I'm saying? That's real yeah, shit. You're yeah, one of yeah. you're one of the niggas that really spit that shit. Yeah. And then when I get around, yeah. I'm not disappointed that nah, I'm around. Yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, for I'm real, y'all appreciate it. And yeah. and I hope this ain't the last time. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we can do it again, definitely. You know I'm gonna mean? I'm now that now that we had like a, a, a version where we get you know what I'm saying like your pers like uh like like your perspective from yeah. you, right? On yeah. shit. Yeah. I'ma wanna I'ma wanna I'm gonna wanna uh a episode, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's kinda like we're talking about like the current state of hip hop. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Where it's almost, where it's almost kind of like you're like a guest host where we talking about the, the culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like me, this was important to like I want to dive into your story from you, mm -hmm. so it's not like I'm watching other people talk about you or something. Mm -hmm. And then now it's like I want now I want to see a perspective on what's going on in hip hop. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I would love to do that the next time around. You know what I'm saying? Nah, definitely we can do it. We, we got nature and this small fucker in Charlotte will not be for the last time, man. As far as I can do it, I'm going to try to get this nigga in the studio, man, because I know y'all would love to hear this nigga, man. You Once again, it, I appreciate nigga. it, my you nigga. Do it. Straight, Straight out. Hell yeah, get them beats flowing, man. Bang, bang.